Hi YouTube viewers, this is just a quick intuitive predictive reading for New Zealand winter and Australian winter for 2013. We have just come out of a particularly euphoric summer in New Zealand for your average Kiwi citizen. I understand for the farmers it has been a much more trying ordeal. However, I don't think our winter is going to be delivering the same placid and pleasant weather conditions. I have used these cards to draw on the energies as well as my intuitive and psychic abilities. What we see before us is a person sitting there holding on to these yellow orbs or round discs which I feel resemble snowflakes. We also note the background sky is particularly grey. So I think we're going to have less sunshine than normal for our winter. We're going to have a lot of grey skies and of course grey can herald snow, or clouds or rain so we're going to see that type of weather predominantly and I see here we have cities that are indicated so our big cities where a lot of our populations reside are possibly going to experience these weather conditions which could be snow, frosts, cloudy and rain. Another card that arrived to just confer that was this card which is the seven of pentacles. We also see there more snowflakes and we see crops being affected. So I definitely get, and the grey sky, I definitely get the feeling of that for New Zealand winter. That was the other card just to confirm it. Lots of darkness around, less sunlight, we have snow again, very very cold. We could even experience power outages throughout winter storms over New Zealand. Now for the Australian cards that I drew they were a little bit different and oftentimes New Zealand and Australia share similar weather patterns but for me I don't think Australia is going to have it quite as cold as New Zealand will. In fact they received the same card that we had for the summer predictive reading. Now for Australia that card in particular definitely we had a lot of heat and sun so I think they're going to see more sun in their summer this winter, but they are also going to have those turbulent storms, I feel, that arrived during their summer period. Some with really heavy, heavy downpours and wind involved. And the final card there for them that arrived was this one which indicates to me horizontal rain, as if in really driving, windy conditions, big storms. Also, I in real terms, these climate changes that we're seeing, it, it, it's global. They're indicators that we're experiencing huge changes in our galaxy. This isn't just an issue that Earth is going through. We only have to look at the changes we're noticing in our magnetosphere, sunspot activity or solar shutdown that's being exhibited in the last couple of years. We see changes of, in planetary visuals on our our neighbouring planets such as Jupiter, we have brightening on Neptune, we have vanishing of Saturn's rings. These are the indicators to you all that this is not just something that is a man-made issue that's happening on our planet. This is a galactic cycle that we're in. It, we're currently in a cycle that's exhibiting change that we have not known about before. It's time that we began to learn to try and utilise it and harness it to the best that we can so that we can continue to flourish and grow on the earth. Anyhow guys, thanks for listening. I hope you all have a safe and happy, prosperous week ahead. Much aroha. Peace.